Okay, so for this chapter, we have patterns and we're first going to deal with linear patterns. So a pattern that is given as an ordered list is called a sequence. Okay, so that's what we're dealing with today. And then a pattern of numbers is called a number sequence. Okay, so linear sequence. Okay, so it's important. This is our first one that we're dealing with. So here I have 3, 7, 11, 15. So that's an example of a sequence. And each number or diagram in a sequence can be called a term. So 3 is a term, 7 is a term, 11 is a term, and 15 is a term. So what I have here, so I have the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So here I have four terms and I draw them out like this. So I have a space between them. So I have 3, 7, 11 and 15. So I want to check if it's linear and to check if it's linear. OK, I look at the difference that they have between them. OK, so my first difference is four. There is a difference of four between all of them. So that means it has to be linear. So then in a linear pattern or sequence, the difference or change between one term and the next term is always the same. OK, so if there is a different number, so if this was four and this is six and this is ten, um, it would not be a linear pattern. So it needs to have the same difference the whole way across within the first term. So this means that a change in a linear sequence is a constant. OK, so it's the same. So then we're looking here, um, general term of a linear sequence. Okay, so a general um, term of t of n, so it's the nth term of a sequence. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with today. So the general term for any linear sequence is um, the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. Okay, so where a is the first term and d is the common difference. So in the last example, the first term was 3. And my common difference was 4. So here I have, okay, so I'm just, um, girls, this formula is in your log table. It's on page 22 of your formula log tables. Um, so you'll be able to find it there. You don't have to learn off that formula. So I'm just going to actually write that here bigger so you know what I'm on about. A plus N minus 1 D. Okay, so that's just a really important formula for this chapter. Now, the next page, okay, so I have an example, okay? So the general term of the following linear, linear sequence, okay? So I have 15, 11, 7, 3. So I write them out, it's 15, 11, 7, 3, and I leave space to draw my arrows, okay? So under my arrows, I go, okay, what's the difference between 15 and 11? I get minus 4. What's the difference between 11 and 7? I get minus 4. And the difference between 7 and 3, I get minus 4, okay? So they all have a common difference of minus 4, so this means it has to be a linear sequence. So I draw out, okay, I write out my formula. So it's t of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d, where a is my first term, d is my common difference, okay? So my first term in this sequence is 15, and my common difference is minus 4. And then I substitute that into my formula. So I have t of n is equal to 15 plus n minus 1, my d is minus 4. So I have 15 n times minus 4 gives me minus 4 n minus 1 times minus 4 gives me plus 4 so I'm left with t of n is equal to 15 plus 4 gives me 19 minus 4 n so that's that example fully completed okay here I have another example so it's using graphs of linear patterns to solve problems so my example so it tells me a table represents how two plants grew over a seven day period. Plant A grew at a rate of 1.4 centimetres per day and plant B grew at a rate of 2 centimetres per day. Complete the table and graph the height of each plant over a seven day period on a single diagram. Let the x axis represent the time in days and the y axis represent the height of each plant in centimetres. OK, so I'm just going to go over to that part um, first. OK, All right. So this is part A. OK, and in my table. OK, so I was given the starting height it was zero and I was given day one, day two for plant A. So if I read my question, it tells me plant A grew 1.4 centimetres per day. And it told me plant uh, B grew two centimetres per day. So what I need to do is I need to go, okay, 5.8 plus 1.4 gives me 7.2. 7.2 plus 1.4 gives me 8.6 and so on. So I'm just adding 1.4 to each previous number. And for this here, I start off, they give me that I start off with plant B with zero. And I have to add two centimetres every single day. 
Um, so that's part A done. And then you're asked to graph it. Okay, I'm just going to show you my graph didn't work out um, very well because I don't have graph paper and I was a bit off with my axis on this side. Okay, so what it would look something like this. Okay, so this be your days along the um, x axis and your height would be up along this axis. Okay, so you'd be plotting points, your points that you'd be plotting for plant A. Um, your first one would be um, tr uh, 3. Okay, so it would just start at 3 on your y axis, that's the height of it okay uh day one okay right so for you go to one on your x-axis and you go up to 4.4 for day two you go to five point um you go to day two on your x-axis and up as far as 5.8 you go to three seven point two and so on and do the exact same for plant um b Part B, this said, um, use your graph to identify which plant grew at a directly proportional rate and the day at which the two plants um, are at the same height. Okay, so girls, when you draw out um, your diagram, um, you have graph paper and you have squares in your copies as well, so it'll make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, so what I said for the one that grew directly proportional from my graph, okay, was uh, plant B. As the linear graph for this uh, plant's growth um, through the origin zero zero so it's just going to be a straight line okay so it's a linear graph and if I had this drawn fully correctly girls you'd be able to see that from your table also that they have to be equal so they're not equal here 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 but on day five they're both 10 centimeters in height so for your graph when you draw that that's where they should both be equal at 10 centimeters um, in height um, part C of this question said um, using the table or your graph find the slope okay so the rate of change each plant graphs um, explain what um, the value means in the context of the question okay so I read that um, from my graph and I just got the rise over the run okay so my rise was 1.4 and my run was 1 and that would be equal to 1.4 for um, plant A and for plant B, my rise was 2 and my run was 1. But you could have taken 2 points and did out your formula y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. That would have also worked. Um, for this then, um, what it means, okay, so the slope represents the rate of change. So in this case, um, in height of the plant of day. So plant A grew at 1.4 centimetres per day and plant B grew at a rate of 2 centimetres per day. Then you're asked part D, okay, so this is where your sequences is coming in. So it's kind of a bit of function and sequences um, thrown in together. So in par part D, it says, write down a formula to represent the height of each plant. State the meaning of any letters used in your formula. Okay, so I want to get a formula to represent the general height. Okay, so I'm going to, and then part E, it says, write down a formula to represent the difference between the two plant heights for any given day. Hence or otherwise, find the difference in height between the two plants on day 18. Okay, so I'm going to do both of those now. So my general formula is T of N is equal to A plus N minus 1 D. Okay, so where A is my first term, okay, and D is my common difference, okay, and then this is just um, your end term, so a height of plant on a centimetre on any day, okay, so you'd be able to work out any day whatsoever, we'd be able to work out 102 if I subbed in 102 for N, okay, so for plant A, T of N is equal to A plus N minus 1 D, so my first um, term on day 1, looking back at my table, is 4.4 .4 plus n minus 1 my common difference is 1.4 then looking okay so solving this so i 4.4 plus n times 1.4 is 1.4 n minus 1 times 1.4 is minus 1.4 so i get my answer my general um equation for this one is 1.4 n plus 3 for plant b i do the exact same procedure so i go t of n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d okay so a is my first term D is my common difference. Okay, so my first term on day one, it's two plus n minus one. My common difference is two. So I get two um, plus n times two gives me two n minus one times two gives me minus two. Two take away two is zero. So my answer is just two n. Okay, and then I was asked to get the difference in the height. Okay, so I got the difference in the height of plant A, take away the difference of B. Your graph girls, and if you've correctly drawn, you'll see that plant B actually is going to be taller than plant A. 
So I take plant um, B away from plant A. We've just worked out that plant this is plant B here. Um, we've just worked out that's the general formula of it. And this is the general formula of plant A. So I get plant B take away plant A. So it's 2n minus. Okay, so make sure this is in brackets because minus 5 plus gives me a minus. Minus 5 plus also gives me a minus here. So I have 2n minus 1.4n minus 3. And I'm left with 0.6n minus 3. That's the difference between them. Okay, and then I was asked what's the difference between them on the 18th day. So this is just my general form for the difference between them. And then on the 18th day, I sub in uh, for n. So I get 0 0.6 bracket 18 minus 3. And that's equal to 10.8 minus 3. And I'm left with then 7.8 centimeters. And that's all of it.